just finished cleaning, Mr. and Mrs. Marion Jones, and now I'm going to start on cleaning your headstones, Miss K. Louise Jones and Mr. Ben H. Jones. First, I want to say thank you for your lives. I hope you had good lives and I hope you did not fear your death. Mr. Jones, I see you're a veteran and so I want to thank you for your service to our country. I hope that neither of you died in fear and I hope you are enjoying eternal peace. You have a beautiful headstone just like your relatives behind you. It is going to be so hot, but it's Florida, so once it gets to be summer, and it is summer, it's always hot. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I would love to hear from you if you have anything that you'd like to say or share. Well, the first thing I hear from you right away, Kay Louise, is pickles. There's not really any way for me to validate what I hear at the cemetery. And that's okay, I don't need validation. I literally have learned to know when it's just my imagination, my thoughts, and when it's actually spirit. So pickles, yes. That kind of goes along with your relatives behind you. Miss Marion Jones, she said something about cookout. So that's interesting. Life is so busy, not even just these days, like every day. And too often we get caught up in life in ways that we can't enjoy it. And I'm trying so hard right now to just be neutral in life. Mr. Jones, you're showing me fireworks. That could be for Independence Day or a celebration. Pickles and fireworks. I love it. It is truly so peaceful here.
I came here the other day with my daughter, Kathleen. Um, we were gonna be early to her art class and she had just gotten takeout food. And so I said, why don't we go to the cemetery and you can eat there. And she loves the cemetery too. Back in the day, she used to help me all the time. So we came here and sat under the little shaded area. And we saw this, we thought it was a giant hawk fly right onto a branch near us. And then it turned its head around and we realized it was an owl. Very special spirit animal. The hawks and the owls. And then it flew off and we saw it meet up with another owl. Too cool. So pickles, fireworks, and cookout. I'm wondering if you're talking about maybe a family gathering. Mr. Jones, you live to be about 60 years old. And you live to be about 70 years old. I can't imagine living to be 103. I just saw on our local Facebook page, they were talking about a man who went to Publix this week. He was on a little scooter. And when he got to the checkout, Publix made a big announcement, you know, happy 103rd birthday. We gave him a big balloon and a small cake. I'm pretty certain with my habits in life, I will not live to be 103. And that, my friends, is okay by me. Okay, let me get the water. And see how we're doing. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I don't even have to touch it up, wow. That's a first. sure that the main name here is nice and clean. Love it. Perfect. I forgot to put that piece of glass. Thank God it fell in here on the other Mr. And Mrs. Jones headstone.
Okay, time for flowers. I'm going to give you, Miss Louise, a white flower. Mr. Ben Jones, a blue flower. And then I'm also going to give you a pinwheel because it's just fun. And there you have it. Thank you again for your service to our country, Mr. Jones. Thank you for this time to clean your headstones. I hope you are enjoying heaven in all the ways that we only can imagine here on earth must be like.